Welcome sa ating channel. We are here to talk about our favorite phone. Actually, my favorite phone. This is the OnePlus Nord 2. It is a gadget that was sent to me last March or yes, early March. And uh, yeah, there's a proof in here sa ating channel na nag-upload ako ng video during the unboxing. And uh, of course, even this is my favorite or kumbaga personal ko talagang pinili tong phone na to. Eh gusto ko pa rin na pag pinakita ko yung review, it should be uh, tested for a while. Especially that our channel randomly uh, review phones. Ito lang yung mga phones na parang kumbaga trip ko lang, gusto ko lang talagang tingnan if it's uh, really good. Since meron ngang konting uh, kwento ang ating uh, dahilan kung bakit uh, we really really want to have the OnePlus Nord 2. Now before I will tell you that, for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Okay, so as I have said earlier, back then, gustong-gusto ko na talagang magkaroon ng OnePlus phone. And uh, currently, yung Nord 2 yung meron sila. Now, here's the thing. Back in 2019, pumunta kami sa isang uh, Sun Dunes Adventure and uh, my friend got this uh, phone na parang sobrang manghang-mangha ako dun sa mga kuha niya. So, when I asked him, what is your phone? Uh, this is uh, OnePlus, uh, I forgot the model. Then, ayun, pag nagkaroon ako ng bagong phone, I want to have the OnePlus brand. Kind of very unfamiliar pa nung araw. Like, uh, kung merong mang, mga sikat nun, that was the Xiaomi, the uh, Huawei. So, OnePlus is uh, a better variant over those brands, maybe some of those brands sa kanilang mga particular model. And, uh, hindi siya ganun kasikat dito sa Pilipinas. Now, fast forward 2022, since nagkaroon ng pandemic, wala akong uh, opportunity back then na uh, bumili. And, uh, until 2022, eto nga, nagkaroon na tayo ng OnePlus Nord 2. Now, what is my review? after few months using this OnePlus Nord 2. Let's start sa kanyang packaging. So, upon arrival, tulad ng sabi ko sa unboxing, sobrang napawawa ako sa kanyang packaging. It looks like a flagship packaging. Ganda yung design. Very premium looking yung kanyang packaging. Very bulky. Unlike uh, mainstream uh, brands ng phones, this is already a bit uh, superior. So, nandito sa loob yung mga manuals, etc. Cables, charger, dito lahat. Now, it's a plus for me. Dahil nga meron na rin siyang transparent case nakasama. So, medyo nag yellow na, oh, ba? Pansin nyo talagang gamit na gamit itong phone natin. And here is the phone. So, still looks fresh kahit na few months ko nang nagamit. And ilang beses na rin nabagsak. Hindi lang tatlong beses, limang beses. Alam nyo siguro yan, especially sa mga tech reviewers dyan, sobrang daming iniisip at sobrang daming ginagawa. Alam nyo kung gaano tayo minsan ka-careless sa mga gamit natin. And uh, from time to time, nalalaglag talaga to. Kaya nga po, wala na rin po yung kanyang screen protector. Tinanggal ko na po dahil pasag-basag na yung kanyang screen protector which is also included out of the box. Now for the specification, nandito po hindi ko na po isa-isayin dyan pero the major specification na meron to is the octa-core. It's a 8GB RAM, 128GB ROM variant yung meron po sa atin. Moving on sa kanyang camera, dito po natin mapapansin yung kanyang performance dahil yun po yung unang dahilan kung bakit ko to binili. Yun po yung ating tininang kagad. So here are the raw shots, unedited raw shots of the camera. Makikita nyo dyan gaano ka-detailed. Yung kumbaga pagiging vibrant ng colors is hindi siya super saturated and uh, kumbaga sakto lang. Yes, it's a bit saturated than other manually captured photos na raw talaga. Pero this one is editable. Kumbaga, diba, those professional photographers, they always go for that uh, raw file na flat neutral colors para kayang-kayang i-edit. And this is what we got with this uh, OnePlus. It's kind of similar with those uh, mainstream brands like Samsung or Apple na yung kuha niya kahit paano, mas madali siyang i-manipulate. Kasi maraming mga brands out there na pagkakuha, diba, meron na kagad editing na nangyari pag uh, pumasok sa ating phone. You can also set din naman. Like, you will go for that manual setup. Pero, this one is out of the box na kuha. And if you are a bit more professional or kumbaga, mas kabisado mo yung camera ng phone mo, then 
you can go also to the manual settings. Yan po yung meron sa ating OnePlus. And uh, pagdating sa video side, same. I also like the output. Of course, I did capture a lot of beautiful sceneries around the area using this. And uh, that can be vouched na lang po ng ating video na pinapakita dito. So, those are unedited. As I have stated earlier again, those are unedited draw shots. And it's very subjective kung ako yung mag-explain uh, lahat-lahat ng uh, nakikita natin Dyan, pero I don't have the figurative way to state it numbers or any pero subjective there and it's up to you guys now to also judge it by your own kung anong sa tingin nyo sa mga kuha ng ating OnePlus pagdating sa photo and pagdating sa video another thing na na-appreciate ko dito is yung kanyang screen which is most of the time when I'm expecting a phone that is from the uh, kumbaga, family of like those Huawei or Xiaomi or Realme sometimes hindi na ako nag expect eh. pero the AMOLED display of this is really like those Samsung din. I have S8, I have S9, I have S10. I have a couple of those flagship of Samsung and uh, I can vouch it that this is, if not the same, almost the same sa mga yun. And as of now, na 3 months na siya, wala pa naman ako na experience na AMOLED burn. Unlike with the, if not S9, that was the S10 variant of Samsung, na 2 to 3 months pa lang, makikita mo na kagad na may AMOLED burn. Alam ko, may mga preventive uh, practice na pwede natin gawin like, huwag mong itaas lagi yung brightness. Pero ito, lagi nakataas yung brightness, especially that lagi ako nasa outdoor. And when I'm using this, it is always sa mga overlanding and camping na activities ko recently dahil nga summer po. So, yes. You can see that sa aking other channel na talagang gamit na gamit itong phone. Doon yung mapapansin na always nasa mataas na brightness siya para makita ko kahit na daylight. And ayun niya, wala tayong nakitang AMOLED burn or sign na magkakaroon ng AMOLED burn. So, ayun, let's move forward. And uh, as you have noticed, it is more on the uh, real world performance ng ating phone yung aking target pagdating sa aking review dahil nga experience yung aking sinishare ngayon. Moving on sa kanyang gaming side naman, this is capable of uh, ML at high set settings, max settings, and same with uh, the CODM, it is also at the same settings. So, it's a very good performance that is uh, driven by the Dimensity and MediaTek. And uh, yes, alam ko marami sa inyo, especially sa mga very tech-savvy, especially sa phones, na ang MediaTek is my counting issue pagdating sa overheating or any. Pero this uh, particular model that I have in here is uh, quite compensated well by the uh, cooling system or the uh, cooling implementation of OnePlus kasi hindi naman natin masyadong na-experience yung overheating. So, mas nakaka-experience pa nga ako ng overheating sa iba. Now, with that being said, is this a phone that I may recommend? Especially that I really want in the first place. Kung baga parang nandun na kagad yung a bit bias na side ko before pa lang nagkaroon ng OnePlus na Nord 2. There are a few things siguro na medyo napansin ko na hindi pa rin ako ganun na-satisfy. Especially dun sa photo side. Parang may kulang. I need more details. The portrait is, uh, yes, it's good. And uh, a bit subjective with it. If you are a guy that I've stated earlier from Samsung or using iPhone 13, of course, uh, huh, there are some details that you are missing when you are capturing photos with this phone. Pero, if you are trying to compare this, which is very unfair din naman kasi talaga na compare sa mga yun, those are worth 60k and 50k phones. If you are comparing this with those Realme, since we have a lot of Realme in here, Poco phone, meron po tayo dito. Realme, Xiaomi, and uh, other bang for the buck brands of phones. This is quite superior compared sa kanyang counterpart models. This is just around 20k more or less. Nung bagong labas siya, it may depreciate over time. Pero this is 20k more or less nung uh, newly released. And it's very very worth it. Kahit na nakabili mo to ng 20k, wala kang pagsisisihan. Now, for the bottom line, OnePlus Nord 2 really impressed me. It meets the expectation. It's a very good phone that you may consider with a performance of 8GB RAM. Very smooth yung uh, naging experience natin. Wala akong masyadong masasabi dun sa usage and other kasi wala naman ako masyadong naging issue. Or maybe the experience is uh, just the typical experience that I have with those flagship phones. And it's even, uh, yes, a lot faster or far faster than my S10 and older phones. 
So if we are talking about the S21 and the iPhone, of course, those are now far superior counterpart or uh, same year model of these phones. They are actually counterpart dahil mas mahal yung mga yun. Pero I'm talking about this phone based on my experience, based on what I have na phones, and those are the comparisons na sinishare ko with this Nord 2. Other than that, wala na po akong masasabi and it's up to you guys now to take it with a grain of salt. Dahil nga po, it's an experience review. I have shared my uh, criticism just to have you a pros and cons and if there's another thing that I may state before I will end this video, hopefully OnePlus keeps on uh, releasing uh, more innovation sa kanila mga phones. If uh, they are really into uh, photos and videos, kumbaga yun talaga yung kumbaga tinatarget nila na main feature ng kanilang mga phones which is I'm not so sure yet. Pero dun sila kasi mas nakilala back then in 2019, then I think they need to step up and go dun sa mga uh, levels ng mga Samsung uh, flagship or those Apple flagship phones or iPhone phones. I know it will not be totally the same as those pero if it can go as close as those phones in terms of performance then no doubt this is now one of the bang for the buck. Not only pagdating sa performance not only pagdating sa price not only pagdating sa kanyang camera performance etc or gaming capability but also as a total package that can be a go-to brand. So ayun na po ang masasabi ko if there are things that I've missed hopefully those uh, raw data and uh, b-rolls that I have shown you earlier could uh, help, then it's up to you now guys to be the judge of those if it's really convincing you or there's still something that should be added to convince you para bilhin ang Lord. Now for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe.